Have you ever faced a data insights question and felt like it's speaking in riddles and sometimes in an entirely different language? Believe me, you are far from being alone and today we are going to tackle one such GMAT challenge, zooming in on a table analysis question pertaining to Australian states and territories. So, step by step, let's tackle this together and make it all crystal clear. All right, ready to solve this difficult table analysis question with me? Let's dive right in. So we're going to read the question statement and we're going to proceed. Okay? With reference to this table, a statistician has proposed the following criteria. Okay, so the author has given us some criteria for determining what the most geographically typical of the listed Australian states or territories. Now, most geographically typical, this is a little bit of a weird term, but we should not worry why because the author has been kind enough to give us the criteria for that so let's look at the criteria okay here is the criteria part of the question statement for each of the four categories of statistics a state or territory is typical if and only if it is neither among the 25 percent of the listed states or territories with the least values for that category nor among the 25 percent of listed states or territories with the greatest values of for that category. Oh my goodness. If you read this sentence the way I read it just now, it would have gone over your head with for majority of you. Why is that the case? Because by no means is this a simple statement. It's a pretty complex statement, pretty involved statement, which again, if you think about it, the author is not really as kind as we initially thought, but not to worry because this is where your skill of simplification is going to come in handy. Okay. You're going to simplify this complex statement into a condition, into a set of conditions that you will understand that you'll be able to utilize with the table that is given to you to be able to answer these three statements. Okay because still the time you don't do that simplification, solving these statements will be a very difficult task, okay? So let's dive right into it. Now, what's my method to, to simplify anything? Well, read with an intention to understand. Read with the intention of owning this particular sentence. We're gonna do exactly that. Another thing is, as you are reading this, don't read this in a silo, okay? No silos, okay? Read this pass, read, read the sentence in the context of the table that is given to you. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you right now. Okay, so let's dive into it. For each of the four categories of statistics. Now, when you see this, you pause at this point and you relate this to the table. Observe there are these four columns here. So these four categories are the four columns. Okay, good. So, so far, so good. Now let's read the next part. A state or territory is typical. So this is where the author is now going to give us the condition is typical. Now, if and only if. So what does this mean? That the condition that has been given to us is a very hard condition. If and only if. It's a very hard requirement. It is neither. Now, what does this neither tell you? This neither tells you that there are not, there is not just one condition. There are two conditions okay okay neither nor you always have neither followed by the first condition nor followed by the second condition and this is where you see if and only if comes into picture that the the state or territory is considered typical if and only if it is neither one nor two now you can see why if and only if was important why neither is important okay now let's read further it is neither among the 25 percent of listed states. Now you pause here. Why am I pausing here? Because I don't know how many are listed states and that is an important consideration. So for that, I again go back to my table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are a total of eight listed states. Now, do I go further or do I understand what does this 25% mean? In this case, I will understand. What is 25% of eight? That is two, right? One fourth of eight is two, right? So. If it is neither, so what is our first condition? That this is that this uh, state is not it is not in the two with the least. Now, what is that condition with the least values for that category? Okay, what does this mean? That 
if I were to, and again, over here, you have to contextualize it with the table. If I were to, and if you observe our table, our table has been sorted with column number four. So let's focus on that. Okay. So the two topmost ones are the least values according to this, according to the fourth statistic upper percentage of population in capital so this territory is typical if it is not so if a territory is in the least of the two then it is not going to be typical that's the first condition okay so so far so good now let's read the next condition nor among and i'm going to change the color here nor among the 25 percent of the listed states now see we've already understood what 25 percent of the listed states means so now we won't have we, we don't really need to do that calculation again what we know is that okay 25 percent of eight is two with the greatest values for that category again we have already understood what it meant for, for for the least values for that category now again taking the same example what we're going to see over here is that it is going to be typical if it is not in the least or in the greatest okay so not in the least and not in the greatest which means what is the actual criteria for this particular thing only these states will be considered as typical okay why because they are from third rank to third fourth fifth sixth sixth ranks okay that is what the condition is now observe what i have done I have simplified the statement that was given in the context of the table. Okay, so this elaborate statement that twenty is neither is is neither among the twenty five percent of the listed states with least values for that category, nor among the twenty five percent with greatest values for for that category. All this is boiled down to is that that for something to be typical, it should not be top two or bottom two when sorted by that category okay as simple as that which means or in other words in our table it should be okay this is not b which means that it's for typical it should be middle four one of the middle fours obviously got it as simple as that and now we can actually work this statement out, the, the simplified form of the statement on the other categories as, as well, on the other statistical measures as well. So, so let's sort this by land area. Now, these two are not typical, okay? These are typical and these two are not typical, okay? So let's do the same thing for the next one now, for population. Sorted by this these two are not typical these four are typical these two are not typical and you get the idea right so the main thing over here is the the key learning is simplify always whenever you read a long statement with lots of words lots lots of repetition always slow down okay slow down break the sentence down into its smaller chunks read one chunk at a time and as you are reading it you would need to contextualize it with the read one chunk at a time contextualizing it with what the pass with what the table is saying uh sorry contextualizing with the table okay because it's always the data set is always composed of the actual information there as well as the table so relate all of that together Till the time you don't get to a simplified structure that you can very readily apply on the table so that you own that table okay and then you are ready to respond to the three statements in that table analysis question now before we solve this question i want you to practice this okay because practice is very very important so here is the first statement it's a different context not related to the table analysis question in question but over here you see the context so again figure out where is the context for example here you see 10 listed cities so you don't really need the table i've already told you that there are 10 cities there right so i want you to give me the simplified form of simplified form of the statement write that in the comments okay and then i'm and then we're going to see how well you're able to apply 
this technique of strategic pausing. This is what we call as strategic understanding the sentence by strategically pausing. Okay. So it's very, very critical technique, which is applicable across all the sections of GMAT. Okay. So that's your sentence. Number one, here is your second sentence. So again, read the sentence, pause the video, read the sentence, and then give me the simplified version in the comment section. Okay. And there is a bonus one over here. Observe this is to be, and I want to see whether you're able to catch the difference between these two. Okay. So, and then here is your third statement. Okay. So there you go. Put your answers in the comments and I will solve the remaining part of this question in the next video. See you then.